Hello again. Hopefully by now you have a better understanding of what your student is choosing if they choose to attend our campus for the 2021 school year as a freshman. I just want to remind everyone that when a student chooses our campus their freshman year, they commit to a full year at our campus. If at the end of the year they no longer want to attend our campus, then they do have the option of returning back to their home campus as indicated by the attendance boundary. Our enrollment process is different because we have a max of 140 spots in our incoming freshman class. There are three rounds to our enrollment process. The first round is the legacy round. Every year in the month of February, legacy students can turn in their learner application. A student is considered a legacy if they have a sibling that is currently enrolled on our campus or a sibling who has graduated from our campus. We are past that window at this point. Right now, we're in round two, which is our first come, first served process, um, and that is what I'll be discussing for the majority of this video. Last year, we actually used an online system uh, for students to claim their numbers to keep their spots going into Camp Out. We're going to continue to use that system this year. So on April 23rd at 12 noon, you can access the online numbering system by going to www.newtechcampout.com. When you go to this site, you'll see a page that's going to give you a countdown um, as to where we are. On April 23rd at 12 p.m., you might need to refresh your screen from the website that you just saw, uh, but you will see this form. As you can tell, it's a real short form with only a few fields, but it gives us the parent name, the student name, um, you're acknowledging that you're currently enrolled in 8th grade in Belton ISD, or you reside in Belton ISD, and it gives us some great contact information for you. Once you hit register, you'll see one of two screens. The first screen that you're going to see would look like this. Congratulations, your number and whatever number that you are. This year, like I mentioned, we have a class max of 140 spots. We had 33 legacy applications, and we also always hold 10 spots for the stratified lottery, which is the round three I'll talk to you about in a little bit. So we have 97 spots available for first come, first serve uh, for our incoming freshman class. You'll see on this screen that it tells you to keep your number. You need to submit the learner application linked below, and this is a live link right here, no later than April 27th at 4.30 to me at this email address. Failure to complete that learner application and have it in by that spot will result in the loss of the number. The other screen that you could possibly see is this screen that tells you thank you for your submission. You didn't receive one of those 97 spots. So you still can submit your learner application to me no later than April 27th, um, 2020 at 4.30. And that holds your spot on our waiting list. Um, and it also will um, give you a spot in our stratified lottery. I just want to let you all know that um, even if you get this screen, please submit that learner application. Uh, last year and every year, we're able to pull students off the waiting list once we go through and verify those first 97 and if they're in district. Um, so just please know that we do often contact whoever's next in, next in line on the waiting list to pull them over. And again, even if you're not pulled off of the waiting list into those 97 spots. Uh, you're automatically there for the stratified lottery, which is that third round that I'll go ahead and explain in just a second. Um, at April 27th at 4.30 p.m., the website face will change and it's going to direct any student interested in attending our campus to submit their learner at, um, applications via email to Megan Crook at BISD.net. Those applications will be placed on the waiting list in the order they are received. And as long as those applications are received by May 8th, um, they'll also be included in our stratified lottery. The stratified lottery uh, all will be for anyone who has their learner application into us by May 8th at 4.30 p.m. And that will take place the week of May 11th. Anyone's name who is drawn from the stratified lottery will noti we'll, we'll notify those students uh, via phone call the week of May 11th. I just want to mention 
that the website that we're using this year is the exact same website we used last year. We tested it, it's completely reliable, um, and it's perfect for our purposes. Um, but please ensure that JavaScript is enabled and the ad blocker software is disabled for the registration website for optimal performance. The registration website is mobile and tablet friendly. We recommend browsers of Google Chrome, Apple, Safari, uh, Mo Mozilla Firefox, and Microsoft Internet Explorer. If you do encounter any issues, just refresh your web page and try again. Um, because we don't know what network um, you'll be accessing the website from, uh, most will not have an issue, but we wanted to make sure um, that you go through before um, April 23rd at noon and make sure that you're not getting blocked from the website. I hope that this uh, answers all of your questions about our enrollment process. Um, the last piece I wanted to talk to you about is camp out. Uh, so some of you might be thinking, oh yes, we don't have to go to camp out. Uh, so I want to just kind of talk to you about that briefly. Um, camp out is actually um, a tradition that we love and enjoy being a part of. Um, it did back when it first started, people camped out to hold their spot in line to turn their learner applications in in person. Um, and last year, like I mentioned, we went to the online system just to uh, prevent people from starting those lines one, two, um, back when it first started, even three days, kind of like a Black Friday thing uh, before camp out just to make it more equitable and of course safe. Um, so this year, uh, we're not going to be able to host the camp out in April. We also know we're not going to be able to hold it in May. So this year, camp out's not a requirement to hold your spot. The number that you receive through the online system um, is the number that um, you will have your spot on our campus. So again, this year, once you submit that learner application via email to me, and I will send you a confirmation when I receive it, um, then that's it for now. We are committed to finding a way to create this, recreate maybe possibly this awesome experience for students. And so Camp Out isn't just a great culture building for our incoming class of 2024. It's a celebration for our current and past students as well. And so depending on how the situation goes that we're monitoring day by day right now, um, we will communicate the details of what that could possibly look like and when that would be for the incoming class of 2024. Again, it wouldn't be a requirement, but it is still um, a really amazing piece um, of what we are about at New Tech, and we're looking at different options to recreate that. Um, if you have any other questions at this point, please take a look at our Frequently Asked Questions document. And again, um, you can contact me by email at genesty.thomason at bisd.net. I look forward to hearing from you and hopefully seeing a lot of you soon. Thank you.